Hello, and this is N4LQ, and uh, I'm here to show you the uh, latest software that's uh, being used with the uh, K3 and the LP Pan. This is uh, called NAP3, and uh, it was put out by, it was written by uh, a fellow in uh, France uh, named Pete F. 5 VNB and it's available on the uh, N8LP website which is uh, telepostinc.com and uh, it, it takes the place of Power SDR IF and it's much much more stable and much easier to use and he has stripped off all the redundant or unnecessary uh, icons that uh, really didn't function at all since it was <clears throat> originally written for um, uh, the uh, flex radio so this is uh, NAP3 uh, it's very quick and easy to install I didn't have I didn't have to do anything to it to make it work uh, it just works it boots up much quicker than Power SDR and it shuts down much smoother and one of the nicest things is the ability to change your uh, your bandwidth for the audio uh, from all the way down to 6 KC's all the way up to 192 KC or kilohertz. Um, I'm using the uh, <coughs> EMU 0202 card USB audio and this is the LP pan so these are really the only two things you need to buy to get started um, on my PC which is a um, an HP with a dual core processor which I highly recommend at least a dual core uh, to, to run all this uh, plus the web and logging software and, and everything else um, you really need a, a fairly fast PC and what you're hearing here is the actual audio coming from the sound card so we're listening to the SDR receiver and it's picking off the signal of course from the uh, IF port on the K3 uh, there's actually two receivers available here uh, from the LP pan there's BFOA and B and you can listen to them in stereo uh, just by simply selecting either or both so it makes it good for DXing and then you can also listen to the K3 which I'll turn up so there's there's three choices there that you can can listen to um, as you can see we are getting some really strange interference uh, this weekend on 40 meters. Um, one of the other nice features about NAP3 is this little button here that says fixed. Now before with Power SDRIF when you tuned you actually moved the uh, the passband window back and forth but with in the fixed mode here you actually move this little red pointer. And I'll show you you just take your mouse and click on a signal and the red pointer moved uh, if you turn that feature off and click somewhere you can see the the background move so this makes it more uh, more like the uh, Lcraft P3 of course th this does a lot more than than the Lcraft uh, P3 plus it has the uh, gigantic display. This is a 20 inch monitor but it looks just as good on my 24 and would probably look pretty nice on a 60 inch uh, uh, LCD display it <laughs> also. So you've got the, those features you've got your bandwidth controls here which also can control the, uh, the K3 in addition to itself. So if I click on two KC's, one KC, 
400. For some reason I call kilohertz kilocycles. I'm back back in the old days, I guess. Um, there's your modes. Let me zoom in here just a little bit. Here's your modes. Here's your bands, and each band has uh, three. Uh, it's a triple band stacking register, so we can go 40, 40, and 40, and now we're up to 7225 in the sideband portion, and it automatically changes modes to uh, lower sideband. So. Turn the volume up here. Uh, I've got a compressor in this. I want to kick it up and see what that does. It's right about half now. I'm kicking it way up. Again, you can change your bandwidth. Yeah, you can. You got it's 2.1. 4. That would happen, but I didn't know. How's this? Crack it down more. Okay, now. Yeah, you're fine there. Okay, I'm going to try one more thing. As I said, we can turn VFOB on. So now we're hearing two different frequencies. Let's turn up A. Okay, now if you want to see a greater portion of the band, we can bump it up to 96, and very quickly it uh, resets itself, and now we see uh, 96 kilohertz, and bump it up to 192, we can see 192 kilohertz of the band. This was not something you could do easily on Pyre SDRIF. Of course, you can see now the signals are, are much closer together and you have uh, less definition. But it, it really does work, uh, work, work well and uh, everything is readily available here on the screen. And we can also do the collapse thing here. And now we eliminate a lot of the clutter and you just see the, uh, the, the band scope itself. Back to the expanded mode. And uh, let's go back to CW. You can tune with a mouse wheel. I'm using a mouse by uh, Logitech, the M705. It actually has a weighted uh, mouse wheel on it, and it's just like tuning. Just get it started rolling. Got to have it on the table for it to work. Or you can just point and click. And wheel it back and forth. Or you can click and drag. Or you can go up here to the frequency window and change frequencies manually. Or if you want to, you can actually highlight it and type something in. There's umpteen different ways to change frequency. And finally, you can just grab hold of the knob on the K3 and do it that way. So the, the flexibility is almost endless. So I'd invite you to take a look at the, uh, the N8LP website. Look over in the left-hand column for, uh, um, let's see, look for uh, NAP3 help and click on that and that'll bring up all the information about NAP3 and you can download it from that page and just get rid of PowerSDRIF. So thanks for watching and have fun.